Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this video, I want to show you how uh, you can fold a series of rectangles and make a polygon. As you can see here, uh, this is the number of the size of the polygon. So I can put it to four or three uh, to make a triangle. And this is the fold slider. So zero is going to open up and unfold it. And one is going to make it completely fold. We're going to talk about the number of sides, uh, how we can define that. Uh, and also a number slider between 0 and 1 to simulate the fault. Okay, let me turn off everything and explain it step by step. So first of all, we're going to use a plane surface and by default it's in the XY plane. And we're going to define a number slider for the X and the Y. The next step is to use the Anomaly plugin. So what I want to do here is to go to the Anomaly plugin and use this fast instead of classic because we want to see the results after we change the sliders. So I'm going to use the start and the end. Uh, this is the loop start and we have used the end to make the loop inside it. Uh, what we need here is the base surface input. When you put the loop start here, uh, you can actually give the inputs here and it's going to go inside there. I'm going to change that by right clicking and changing the title. So this is going to be the base surface. And also if you zoom in and hit plus, you can add other inputs. Uh, for this example, we have made two inputs, a base surface and a rotation number, which I'm going to explain. And again, at the loop end, you have to also zoom in and make the same number. So this is going to be D0 and D1. And again, for the D1, I'm going to change that to rotation. So you can see that always you have the same number at the start and the end. And also right click and record the data. So we have the results. Uh, another thing we need here is the rotation uh, angle. So 360 degrees by, divided by the number of sides is actually if you have each of these uh, planes and you extend it, uh, the degree is going to be this uh, angle. Uh, again, for this surface, if you extend it and find the fold angle, it's going to be 120 degrees and so on and so forth. So if we have a four-sided uh, polygon, again, this one is going to be 90 degrees. This one is going to be 90 degrees uh, till the end. And for a five-sided uh, polygon, it's going to be 72 degrees uh, for each of these uh, surfaces. So obviously, we just have to make the division. It's going to be 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. And a multiplication between 0 and 1 is going to define how much the fold is going to happen. So for example, if we have uh, this line, representing the surface and this is the second one uh, if we want to make a four-sided polygon it's going to be 90 degrees so if we multiply that between 0 and 1 uh, a 0 is going to make it like a linear array of those surfaces and when we increase that number to 1 we can see the simulation close for each of these surfaces. So we have to make a number slider between 0 and 1. And obviously you can see uh, I've named this fold and multiply that with the division. Now we have the rotation uh, angle. Uh, another thing we have to make is the uh, loop iterations. Uh, because we made the surface once and we also bring that surface to rotate it, uh, we have to make this x minus 2. Uh, so we have the rest uh, run into the loop iteration. Okay, now that we have made the inputs, uh, let's take a look at the algorithm. Okay, to make the fold, the first step is to explode uh, the curve of the surface and pick up the edges, uh, it, which is the direction of movement first. So we're going to move that multiplied by the uh, dimension of the U, which is going to be actually the X dimension. So that is going to help us to move that and put it right here. The reason we are using this vector instead of an X vector is because when we uh, fold it, for example, uh, we have this fold for the second edge. Uh, the next one is going to be moved in this direction and then fold it. Right. So we have to move that always in the edge direction. Uh, after moving this uh, in the direction, uh, assume that this is the number of the folding, uh, we have to rotate this axis. So uh, if we rotate this uh, surface 
uh, along this edge, which is again an explode and list item. Uh, we're going to give this angle, which is obviously the rotation angle we have here. And then we bring back this surface to the base surface and the loop is going to happen again and again. And so if I turn off everything, you can see it here. Because the loop is only going to give you the additional surfaces, uh, what I want to do is to make a surface container and add the base surface and then uh, the folded. Uh, so we have that inside here. We can turn off everything. And that is going to be the final surface. So if I just change this from 0 to 1, you can see the fold state. Uh, this is the number of sides and this is going to be the size. You can use that for uh, a structure, for example, maybe a bridge that you want to make it open or closed. And uh, that's it. That's how you can fold a polygon in Grasshopper using the Anomaly plugin. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you get notified about our new videos uh, we release every week. Uh, see you next time. Bye.